Hello. So I just want to do a quick story time over my most embarrassing date. So obviously I'm not going to name drop. So we'll call this person. Phil. Yeah, Phil. So, me and Phil have been, well, we were, you know, I'm speaking back then. So, we were best friends uh, ever since, like, eighth grade. I actually forgot when I met him. Oh, well. Anyway. Best friend since 8th grade, uh, he always had a crush on me, always hated that I, you know, dated because he had a crush on me. Very weird guy. Um, recently, well, I felt uh, bad for him a few years back because um, he, there was a time when we did not talk because a lot of times we would like argue and then not talk like for a long period of time, like years type thing. So in that time frame, I found out that, you know, his mom died. Um, his uh, house came on fire and stuff like that. Anyway, traumatizing stuff, right? So yeah, so we reconnected after a while on Facebook, I believe. And um, basically, see, I was not planning on a date at all. literally saw him as a friend did the thought cross my mind for a split second um i mean only because you know when you're a, a man and a woman around each other a lot you know you might if the thought crosses your mind like hmm you know what if but <laughs> didn't happen but anyways brr, um so yeah so we went he took me to the movies right and I remember waiting in line. It was this long ass line. I forgot the movie we saw. I believe it, ooh. I believe it was the premiere, wait. I believe it was the uh, Us, the movie Us. If you don't know that movie, just get rid of yourself. Like throw your whole self away if you don't know that movie like it's by one of our best directors of today so yeah you should definitely see that movie but anyway um so yeah we were waiting in the movie line right and he yeah he was making it awkward he did it on purpose i know why you know those people who ask you a question but they ask you a question in front of people to pressure you into saying what they want you to say. Like if, say if you want to go to the prom with somebody, you know those uh, trendy videos where they make the girl, like they ask her in front of the whole entire school. So basically if she says no, then she's a bad person. I hate that, I hate that peer pressure stuff, that's stupid. Especially since we, you know, grow. Anyway, so yeah, he asked me in while we're waiting in the movie line in front of everybody, hella loud, right? Uh, is this a date? Or is this like a friend thing? Or I already told you what it was. It was a nothing. It was a friend thing. You know I don't like you. Like just trying to push yourself onto some I don't know, some women like that. Women like me, I don't, especially with our, I've already told you no. And it's not the whole playing hard to get. It's like, I'm genuinely telling you no. I'm not interested in you. So yeah, when he said that a woman, a woman behind him is going, inserting herself, don't know her, is going to be like, uh, if you're paying, then it's a date. If you're not, then it's not. Like she said it all out and they were all laughing and stuff at cahoots. And I was just looking at them like. Literally my face was like, okay. It's like I already told. I already told you. <laughs> anyway. 
he was just being awkward the whole movie bro i was trying so hard i was straight you know what the good part is though for me not for him <laughs> We chose our seats, right? But our we accidentally chose the seats that were separate from each other. So he was on the aisle below me and I was on aisle above. And he was like, oh, I wish. He kept turning around in his seat, talking hella loud during the movie, saying, oh, I wish I could really sit by you. Like, just being weird. And it's like, I, and ugh. people were looking at me and I was, I was looking at the movie to make it seem like I wasn't even like with this nigga like I was not even with him or whatever so I'll just watch a movie like like that <laughs> and he kept her oh I wish I'm like shut up <sighs> anyway oh my gosh and when I tell you the uber ride home bro no the movie was good you know the movie was good oh but the movie ride home bro <sighs> I mean sorry the uber ride why did I say movie ride home Uber ride home, bro, was the most awkward and most embarrassing stuff ever, ever. He made up this whole scenario to this Uber driver because, you know, we didn't know him. He was trying, I guess he was trying to be funny, but he was like being half serious, half joking. He was talking about how, telling this Uber driver how he's planning to marry me. And the Uber driver was just eating it up because he didn't know us. And he thought we were legitimately a couple because he was literally running his mouth so much like to the point where you would think we're together but you could tell by my body language i was not feeling it i was laughing the whole when i'm nervous i i giggle like an uncomfortable like <laughs> uh, like that kind of laugh like not even a laugh just a <laughs> um yeah it was terrible it was terrible. Uh, it was the most uncomfortable thing. And I remember he tried, he walked me. I, I know when guys try. I get it. It's cute. You hate to get rejected type thing. But my whole mentality is get that bread, get that head, then leave. Peace out. Like, that's really me. <sighs> So I knew when he tried to walk me to my door, he was trying to get a kiss. I knew that. When I hugged him, it was the most awkward hug ever. So <laughs> he tried to kiss me, right? He kept trying to, you know, they try to get a kiss and they look like fishes swimming or whatever. Like, like that's, that's really how they look. They look dumb look like guppies anyway ladies <laughs> I'm gonna speak to you really quick <laughs> make sure oh yeah long story short yeah sorry I always go off topic so long story short um no I didn't kiss him ew we had an argument that night about it because I told him how uncomfortable I was and he was basically saying sorry and then it ended up leading into us cussing each other out and we have not spoke since. It's literally been years. I have no reason. I, have, I, mean, I just have no interest to speak to him ever again. But uh, like I was saying, ladies, please make sure whenever you reject a guy, uh, you know, let him down gently, obviously. But... Just make sure he understands and really it digests the message. Because, you know, a lot of these men, boys, companion, uh, they don't really, in, you know, they don't really, you know, really try to taste the food that you're cooking type thing, I guess you could say. That's really all I um, wanted to say is just make sure the person gets the message. Uh, make sure they know that they're getting rejected. You know, just like do it in a respectful way. Just like let them know. Like don't be fake. But that's really all I had to say. That was my story time. So yeah, make sure you comment the videos you actually like me to post. 
or whatever. I have so many story times to do. But yeah. I don't know. That one's the most. That one, one definitely stood out for me. So I hope Phil is doing well in his life or whatever. But yeah. Bye.